Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gregory. Today, we're going to be talking about the HVK30. This has been a long-awaited, anticipated video. I know you guys have been wanting to hear what I have to say about the HVK. So anyways, HVK30, it's basically, here, here's my take on this gun. This is the PDW in the body of an assault rifle. It's a very interesting gun. So we're gonna be hopping into some gameplay with it. I have one ranked gameplay for you guys today. And then after that, we're gonna be jumping into a class setup review, talking about what attachments work good with this gun, what perks and stuff like that. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this guys. If you enjoy, of course, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel for some more Call of Duty Mobile content. By the way, if you guys didn't know from yesterday's video, we've been trying to get our Discord server to level two. I wanna give a shout out to everyone who's boosted so far. I'll put them up on the screen. Uh, if you're not in my Discord server, by the way, Yet. i'll leave it in the description basically if you want to find some buddies to play call of duty mobile with or just to find a team to rank with or whatever there's a bunch of people in there always looking for a team so go ahead and join that if you are interested anyways guys let's go ahead and get into the video happy easter everybody and i hope you guys enjoy all right hopping into it let's get it let's see what you guys end up popping out from all right taking a major assist right there I can't see. <laughs> Alright, there's a sniper back there as well. Something, I don't know. I saw a guy red. Oh god! Watch out for the nade. Nice, got that RPG kill. I knew there was a guy in that corner, so I figured I'd go for the RPG. Alright, 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 alright. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? We're gonna cap B, guys. I'm just gonna sit up here for a little bit. I'll go for B later. I think that guy's sniping. Never mind, he's dead now. Yeah, I think he was sniping, so I think I shouldn't be peeking him too much. Let me put my trophy up here. Oh, they're capping B, I bet. Oh, this gun's a laser chat! Oh my god. Oh, bullets. I still got a little bit of bullets left, which on. Come on, he's low. Kill him, kill him. RC, get him. Yes. Yes. How low is my man? Bro, okay, I'm gonna have to rush. I'm running out of ammo here. You guys saw how low he got from all those hit markers. It's UAV, alright. That's good up. I really need somebody's gun right about now. 14 shots left. <laughs> Yo, someone help me, bro. Kill somebody so I can get their gun. <laughs> Here, I got an idea. Let's get our nade. There we go. Let's get this guy's gun. Teammate, you gonna kill him? Oh, I can kill him. I can kill him. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, that's insane, bro. I used just the 14 bullets I had left for the double. Okay, this guy below us. Stand by. I'm waiting. Let's go. Type still cracks. All right, let's drop the pred in here. I was for that guy. I was gonna go for the double kill, but they split up. Contact with enemy. Ow. Forgot fall damage hits like a bus now. Where are they spawning? Oh, that's good. Wait, what? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Gee, why did he take so many shots to kill him? Alright, end of the first round. <clears throat> I might go for a nick, I don't know. Alright, let's drop in the RC. Drop in the uh, UAV. Alright, good stuff. Oops, I choked my nade. <laughs> nice, dude, this gun lasers! I love it. I'm not gonna push those guys. Let me just go ahead and lob an RPG. Changing bag. Here, let me get up on this too. They got B, dang it. Let's go and drop the pred. 
All right, go B, 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 rush B, rush B, rush B, rush B. They're all dead. Hurry. See why is no one playing OBJ? Oh my god, I hate when no one plays OBJ, dude. Especially when it's like a moment like that where it's such an easy cap. Guys, come on. Oh, War Machine user, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> Adios. Alright. Oh, I see a guy. Where's this guy? There's that guy right there. No! Okay, thank you. That Predator missile maybe saved my life. What the? Bro. Oh my goodness. Alright. Heads up, team. Enemy UAV spotted. I really need heal right now. No, I got killed by bees. What my screen, dude? I needed six more kills into the nuke. Come on, bruh. We captured B. Freaking bees, of course, gotta end my streak. Let's go ahead and throw the nade. You? We got B though, so that's good at least. That's good at least. Alright, where are these guys at? They all at spawn? I think they are. Why do I have to stop firing right when I'm going through? <laughs> Ooh, guys here. Nice, teammate. There's another one, there's another one behind you, buddy. Ah, no, I messed up the drop shot. Dang it. <clears throat> Alright, let's go with the nade. Yeah, my teammate's got a Goliath. Lol. No, 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 no. Bro, I think. Wait, well, hold on. Let me go in from this direction. Enjoy the nade, buddy! <laughs> Alright, we're about to win. Where are they? There we go. Oh. Oh, that's in Alright, UAV. Recon is this guy really by. just in the corner? Where is he? No! What? Uh, what? I swear I reloaded my gun, dude. Where is he? Right, well, that's game. GG's. Dude, what the heck? I swear I reloaded that gun on that kill, though. <clears throat> Man, I wanted a nuke. Whatever, though. Alright, guys. Let's go ahead and build the class setup for the HVK-30 Eruption. And, of course, if you don't have the Eruption skin, it's okay. There is a free variant for this gun. By the way, if you guys don't have it, just real quick. I assume if you're watching this video, you probably have the gun. But for those of you guys who don't know, you basically have to go into your um, events tab or your calendar thing or whatever you want to call it. And then if you go to, um, let me find it real quick. It's under, oh goodness, there's so many tabs here. Here it is, Daily Missions Exchange Center. And then you go here. If you get 60 of these um, daily coin things, you can actually exchange it for the HVK. I've already exchanged mine for other rewards. Obviously, there's really no point in me exchanging it for the HVK because I already have the Eruption one. So I don't want to waste my daily coins. But if you don't have it, you can get it there for completely free. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the loadout. So first things first, obviously, we got the HVK. And uh, for the scopes, now, if you guys use this gun at longer range, I would recommend the red dot. But for the most part, I would just go ahead and use the iron sight. I personally like the iron sight on this gun. I think it's really nice. And again, this gun, like I said in the intro, it's like a PDW in the body of an AR, so it doesn't have a ton of range. I mean, it is an AR, so of course you can use it at range, but I think it more shines at mid range. I, I just I, I find that at longer ranges, the you know the output of damage is just nowhere near any of the other ARs like the KN or the BK. So I would just recommend using an iron sight. I think it specializes at close and mid range, anyways. Uh, for the first attachment, I just go ahead and throw on Click Draw. I always do that on my ARs. It's just like a staple for me. Uh, for the next one, I throw on a foregrip. Now, you can actually use something other than the foregrip. The thing about this gun is it has a pretty stable recoil pattern to begin with. So you don't really need the foregrip. So it's kind of up to you. If you don't use the foregrip, you can get a little bit fancy and use something like the suppressor or you can use the laser sight. Um, but again, you don't need the foregrip. If you don't want to use it, you can use one of those other two. I just go ahead and throw down the foregrip. Just, you know, I like to have that 
extra stability but you know it doesn't help a ton is what i'm trying to say and for the final attachment i always use the extended mag on this gun because it, it burns through bullets very fast so you want to have as many bullets as you can inside of the clip and also for the secondaries um use the rpg if you're playing like rank and you're trying to take out uavs and counter uavs and stuff like that and uh, use the knife or the pistol if you find yourself running out of ammo a lot in that gameplay i probably should have been using a pistol because you guys did see i did run out of ammo there because i was you know i was just i used all of it and i was looking for ammo and i got very lucky because i had like 14 bullets left and i was able to get a double kill with those 14 bullets and then pick up a guy's type but that doesn't happen all the time so use a pistol if you find yourself in those scenarios a lot and finally moving on to the operator skill you can use death machine war machine or hives and by the way i've actually had a few people asking me recently like greg why don't you have the hives because i mean everyone has the hives right i actually took a month break from this game and it, here's the sad part when i took that month break from cod mobile i literally missed out on the best content that came to the game the goliath the hives and the hbr while i was gone those three things came out and now i can't get them ever again which is unfortunate but you know it is what it is right so yeah, I would go ahead and use the War Machine, Death Machine, Hive, whatever whatever you want to use. It's completely up to you. And uh, for the lethals, it's a, it is an AR, so I would recommend using a frag because you're going to be using this gun from like further back. But if you use it like an SMG, which you very much can because it has that fast fire rate and it's got pretty easy control recoil, um, you could go with the trip mine as well. Oops, forgot to equip it. And uh, moving on to the tacticals, I usually just throw a trophy system. It's pretty much a staple for any AR class I have. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that on as well. And uh, for the perks here, now this gun's a little bit interesting because, you know, it is an AR, but it also kind of functions like an SMG. So there's a lot of perks that work really well with this gun, and that's part of the reason I think it's interesting. It's just very versatile. So you could go the fast recover route where, you know, you could just take a lot of peaks and, uh, you know, heal up every so often. And, you know, fast recover just helps you heal up a lot quicker by 35%. So it depends if you peak and unpeak a lot with this gun, fast recover might be your... Uh, the way to go um flak jacket if you find yourself getting killed by explosives a lot or you use war machine and you've killed yourself a lot with it i would use flak jacket because you could actually save yourself uh agile if you want to ads quicker I, I really don't think you should use agile unless you're playing this gun like an msmc or a pdw like absolutely close range cutthroat and then of course lightweight also if you guys are playing this gun like an smg and you just want to move around as quick as possible lightweight would, pr would probably be good in like hard point or domination or something if you're playing hard point i think lightweight would really shine i'm gonna go ahead and throw on fast recover just because you know it's a little bit of one of those underrated and interesting perks and i think it does kind of go well with the way i do play this gun so yeah now moving on to the second perk i usually go ahead and rock ghost or toughness I'm gonna go ahead and throw on ghost for this gun just so i don't get revealed by uavs i've been really liking ghost a lot lately so yeah i'm going to throw that on and finally for the last perk once again i've said this before i'll go ahead and say it again so dead silence is really good if you're playing rank and you're just trying to be silent especially for a search and destroy i would recommend highly highly recommend dead silence because hardline is going to be no use for you at all unless you're going for like shock rcs or something a really low you know score streak and you're gonna want points for it but yeah dead silence for rank hardline if you're doing pubs maybe and you're just trying to drop high kill streaks you know like a vtol or something like that just gonna go ahead and throw on dead silence there but anyways that is the hvk 30 class setup let me know what you guys think and also let me know what you think of the gun i mean it's a free gun so everyone pretty much has it right now and um you know some people are using it some people aren't using it uh, I've, I've heard mixed things on this gun i've heard some people say it doesn't have a fast enough kill time which they are not wrong this gun does have one of the lower kill times however it does shine at mid-range and it does have a really quick kill time at mid-range and it's very easy to control too so it's not too hard to hit all your shots and use and overall if you're trying to go for a nuke i think this is a really good weapon just because it's so stable and so consistent like I said, it kind of reminds me of the uh, PDW, but like in AR form, if you know what I mean. Anyways, guys, well, that is going to wrap it up for the video. I hope everybody enjoyed. Make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like if you do. And subscribe to the channel for some more Call of Duty mobile content. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. If you guys want to go ahead and check out my live streams, by the way, I've been live streaming every so often. I just started up yesterday. I plan on streaming either today. If I don't stream today, definitely tomorrow because today is Easter. So I might be busy. But yeah, I'm going to start streaming here and there uh starting well i guess i was starting yesterday because i streamed yesterday but yeah i'll leave my stream channel in the description so you can go ahead and check that out and by the way for the last video i did hide one of these g's down in the video it was a really hard one so i was surprised somebody actually got it i'll go ahead and leave them up there and also yeah of course i'll be hiding another one in this video so if you guys find it make sure you guys leave the timestamp in the description and i'll give you guys a shout out at the end of the next video so yeah that's it i'll be seeing you guys in the next one peace out
We'll be right back.